Okay. One second. Welcome to the meeting today. Uh, this is a little unusual and we're doing it on uh, Zoom, but uh, I hope it's a little more convenient for you for not having to come into Annapolis. But we're going to move right into the meeting quickly with the Airport Zoning Appeals Board. And the first person up would be uh, Michael uh, Barranco, uh, followed by uh, Shelley Gardeners. So uh, is the Senator from District 42 here to uh, introduce? If not, is uh, there any sen other Senator here who knows Michael to introduce? If not, I'll just go to him and let him uh, talk about himself a little. Okay, if not, uh, Mr. Branco, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, we see you now. Would you uh, proceed? I'm sorry, I, I was uh, just logging on and I didn't hear. Uh, uh, your senator is not here to introduce you. So just say something very briefly about your background and then uh, anything do you, you have to say about uh, coming on to this position at the Airport Zoning Appeals Board? Very good. Uh, I'm a lifelong resident of uh, Baltimore County. I am an attorney. I've been practicing law for uh, 35 years. Um, I also, uh, uh, in, in the past, received my private pilot's license, so I have a little bit of familiarity with aviation issues. And i um, just very pleased that I uh, was nominated for uh, this position and happy to serve. Okay, thank you. Um, any questions or comments? If so, uh, either raise your hand or use the uh, raise hand button. And staff is gonna have to watch for that for me because I can't see everyone. So uh, are there any hands up? I just flashed through everyone, I don't see any. So if that, uh, Mr. Branco, you're off pretty easily and <laughs> Thank you for coming in and uh, look forward to you serving. My pleasure. Good day to all of you. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Uh, next would be Shelly Gardeners. Uh, is Shelly here? Yes. Okay. Um, have your camera on? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, there you Can are. Can you see me? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Okay, is uh, Senator from District 30 here? I, I uh, think Senator Elforth was running late. Okay. Uh, then, uh, Ms. Gardner's, would you just say a little about yourself and then uh, follow up with anything you want to say about uh, serving on the Zoning uh, Appeals Board for the airport? Sure, sure. thank you. Um, my name is Shelly Gardeners. I'm actually a ninth generation resident of Anne Arundel County. And I'm very honored to be able to represent Anne Arundel County on the Board of Airport um, Zoning Appeals. I am the owner and independent consultant at Artist Strategic Consulting, where I help nonprofit governing boards and governing boards of other oversight bodies with their governance and strategic issues. Um, I enjoy giving back to my state and community. I'm, I should also say I am a commissioner at Maryland Public Television appointed by um, Governor Larry Hogan. And um, my father himself was a contractor. I am a frequent international traveler and lived in the vicinity of Amsterdam Schiphol Airport for a period of 10 years with all of the ordinance noise and construction issues that come with a rapidly expanding international hub. Once again, I'm honored to serve. Um, I'm honored to help out my state and my community whenever possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, any questions or comments from any of the members? Um, I am not seeing any. So um, if not, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Okay. So we'll move on to the uh, Maryland State Arts Council and uh, uh, Dr. David uh, uh, Fikunko, if that's pronounced right, uh, is the Senator from District 45 here. Yes, I know. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, looks like not. So. Uh, no, I'm I'm right here. Oh, okay, I didn't see you there. Sorry, you just popped up on mine. Go ahead. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, members of Executive NOM. I have the distinct privilege to be able to introduce my friend, uh, Dr. David Falconel uh, uh, from the 45th Legislative District. I introduce him not just uh, as my friend, but I introduce him as a stakeholder, a homeowner in the 45th Legislative District, a father, a husband. Uh, David has done extensive amount of work around the National Great Blacks and Wax Museum and making sure that we can hold this entity uh, to, to this, its highest standard um, from there. But I also recognize that uh, 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 David is also has a PhD from the Johns Hopkins University. I also uh, talk about his doctoral dissertation. I know that uh, David has also contributed to uh, service in the General Assembly and a number of active items within city, around young people, around health, um, around so many issues in the arts and culture. Um, he's also, uh, I, David, I'm not, I'm going to mistake it. I'm going to say a poet. So I know he's an artist. Let me say an artist is the best way to, uh, to, to put it. But uh, Dave, I know David, I know his mom, um, and he's done extensive work. And Mr. Chairman, I'm just humbled and honored to be able to put uh, his name forward for our Maryland State's Arts Council, because I know he's going to contribute great things uh, uh, and great uh, work um, towards that body. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for this opportunity. And David, I could not be uh, more honored um, than to put someone outside of yourself uh, just in the amount of work that you've done at such a young age. I know we're the same age, but just the, ex the extensive amount of work that you've been able to do. Thank you again. Okay, thank you. Um, Dr. Farco, are you there? I'm here. Okay, proceed please. Uh, well, I, I am uh, grateful for this honor. Uh, as uh, Senator McCray said, I am an artist. I am a child of East Baltimore. Uh, this is where I plant my flag. And uh, to have this opportunity to show uh, and advocate for the value of arts and culture in, in Baltimore and the state of Maryland is a, a high honor for me. Uh, I know art has been a major part of my life since the very beginning. My mother is a singer. Uh, my father is an artist in his own way. He's a great speaker. We'll give him that. Speaking is an art form. Uh, I am fortunate to be a, a storyteller learning from uh, the great Mary Carter Smith, who was Maryland's official griot. So it, it is a part of the tradition that I get to carry in, in many forms, including in the public health space. Uh, Senator McRae said, I, I received my PhD from Johns Hopkins. I am a faculty member in the Bloomberg School of Public Health. I'm a faculty member at the University of Florida Center for Arts and Medicine. And storytelling is the art that I carry. So I know how powerful arts can be. It transforms lives and it allows us to share the truth. So in any way that I can help to elevate that for other Marylanders to share their truth through arts and culture, I will do it. Uh, if I have to run my mouth, if I have to help with policy, if I have to uh, showcase my art itself, I will do that because people deserve the opportunity to share their truth. And for my money, there's no better way to do it than through arts and culture. So thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, thank you. Uh, are there any comments or questions? Um, Mr. Chairman? Uh, yes. I, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to thank the Senator for his nominations and the doctor and I had the pleasure of serving on a task force together this interim. And I share his passion for the arts and healthcare, having served on the Maryland State Arts Council. So everything that you said really spoke to me. Thank you for your comments, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to thank you too. As a artist and member of the Maryland State Arts Council, I look forward to meeting you there. Thank you, sir. Okay, with that, thank you very much. And next up is uh, Marlene Jackson from uh, Center District 22. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Um, Ms. Jackson has worked for the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning for the last 12 years. Uh, prior to that, she graduated from the University of Maryland College Park, but more importantly, in terms of credentials for working on the Arts Council, she actually was lead project manager of regulatory cases and the public art coordinator for Maryland National Capital Park, Park and Planning. So she's got the experience. Uh, she's been working in the county and 
in terms of development and understands the relationship between art and public space and development. So I'm, I'm proud to bring her uh, before the committee. Very good, uh, thank you. Ms. Jackson. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak. I appreciate it. Um, I was born in um, Washington, D.C. and attended schools in Montgomery County, but I've spent most of my adult life in Prince George's County. I have a love for the arts, have always had a love for the arts. I went to Albert Einstein and they had a really great program um, at Albert Einstein in Montgomery County. Um, I've continued on in the profession in the form of landscape architecture as well as real estate development and joining those two things hand in hand. As I've spent the, mo the majority of my professional career uh, around real estate, but also finding ways, creative ways, to uh, support the arts through, through landscape design, but also public art. I have a master's in real estate de development and a bachelor's in uh, landscape architecture. And I am uh, um, looking forward to continuing to um, serve the state for which I am, I am from. I am a product of Maryland and I, and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Okay, thank you. Uh, and are there any questions or comments for Ms. Jackson? I see no hands. So uh, uh, I look forward to serving with you also as a state representative to the Arts Council. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we move on to the elevator, elevator uh, safety review board and uh, Lance Brown and the senator from District 34. I can't uh, thank you. you. Okay, good. I, thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and the members of the Executive Nominations Committee. It's, it's my uh, honor to uh, support the nomination of uh, Mr. Lance Brown of Abington, Maryland uh, to the, he's, he's been nominated to serve the remainder of a three-year term uh, on the Elevator Safety Review Board uh, he's an Air Force veteran, um, and he's got over 40 years of experience in the electrical power and controls, uh, and including as a teacher, I think is extremely important because here's somebody who knows the regulations, how to interpret, how to interpret the, uh, how to actually do this stuff, and who can um, uh, uh, help folks to learn, not just to, not just to uh, reject. And, and so I think he's an, uh, an awesome nominee, and I Honor to support him. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Mr. Brown? Uh, yes, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Anything you'd like to say about your uh, self, your qualifications? Oh, no, I just think that uh, this is an excellent opportunity. I appreciate the opportunity to be on this uh, elevator board. Okay. Any uh, questions of Mr. Brown or comments? Again, I quickly glanced through and I don't see any. So uh, thank you for being here and good luck. All right, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. So um, we'll move on to um, Mr. Horde, who is presently chair of the elevator board, review board and um, senator from district 11. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to the members of the committee. Um, I'm very happy to be here today um, in support of Ed Horde. Um, I actually know Ed, and um, I'm happy to support his appointment, reappointment for a three-year term as chair of the Elevator Safety Review Board. He is the founder and senior principal of a national architecture and landscape firm specializing in multifamily housing. He is also chair of the National American Institute of Architects, Risk Management Committee for the past four years. Um, he is a member of the Baltimore County Landmark Preservation Commission, Commission, and he originated and chairs the AIA Baltimore Fellows Committee, and he chaired the Advisory Committee for Morgan State University's Institute of Architecture and Planning from 1995 to 2011. So I am very happy to um, support uh, Ed Horde for this position. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, Mr. Horde. Mr. Hoare, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Proceed, anything you'd like to say? I'm honored to be uh, chosen to work on this committee. I think it's a uh, 
doing some good things for Maryland. I've been on it since 2001, I think, when it was originated. Okay. Well, uh, I hope my personal safety elevator bill gets through this <laughs> vacations we've made on it. <laughs> Had some problems with the fiscal note last year, which I hope are corrected. So, uh, any questions for uh, Mr. Horn? I don't see any hands. So with that, thank you for serving and appreciate you being here. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, next up is William Jose. Jose, uh, are you there? Oh, excuse me, uh, Senator from uh, District 33. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, William uh, comes to us uh, very well, well qualified and I have no reservations on recommending him to the committee. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, proceed. Hello? Uh, yes, Scott. Yeah, I'm Mike Moran. No, no, no I admit no, it. No. We, we, you're one, you're one. You're up you're next. next. We still, still got, uh, uh, is William there? there? I'm here, yes. Uh, okay. Anything you'd like to say to the committee? Um, just thank you for, for having me here. I'm, I'm looking to serve the board in any capacity that I, I can. Um, being in the business insurance field, I think I do bring quite a bit of expertise as it relates to safety protocols for elevators. Okay. Are there any questions? No. Again, I don't see any hands. So with that, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Now we'll move to uh, Michael William Moran and Senator from District 33. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, uh, Mike Moran is a reappointment to the board. Uh, he served uh, diligently for many years now. Uh, you have a lot of different types of businesses that serve on the board. Mike's specialty is the, the renovation of the cab itself. The walls, the ceiling and the floors and refresh and replace. Uh, Michael's uh, firm takes care of that. Uh, great businessman knowledge of the industry and a returning uh, board member, I strongly re uh, recommend his reappointment. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Moran. Yes, I'd uh, just like to take a minute to thank the governor, the nominating committee and Senator Riley for my reappointment to the Elevator Safety Review Board and for my past eight years of service. Okay. Thank you. And are there any questions or comments? Again, I see no hands. So thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. Okay, next up is um, Robert Sonny Yateman Jr. from District 30. Good evening, how's everybody doing? Okay, uh, first off is Sandra here. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Go ahead first. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chairman, for the committee. I'm so happy to be here in support of my um, constituent and more importantly, my friend, uh, Robert Sonny Yateman, um, who has over 35 years of experience um, in this trade. Uh, he's also uh, a passionate advocate for his uh, union and in his off time when he's not uh, practicing this trade, he is on the football field locally coaching young people in our district. He's a, an incredible asset and I fully recommend um, his reappointment to this board. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, Mr. Yateman, it's your turn. I just want to take a second to thank the governor for the reappointment and uh, also for Senator Elfrip in, in the committee. And I look forward to working harder for the state of Maryland on that board. Okay, thank you very much. Again, any uh, questions or comments? Yeah, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, very briefly. Mr. Uh, I've Prescott. known Mr. Yateman uh, many years uh, working in Prince George's County before moving down to Rundle in, in many ways and fashion, and he's always been an individual committed to other people and to the state. So, Sonny, it's good to see you, and good luck. Thank you, Senator. Okay. With that, then, thank you very much for being here. Okay, we're going to move to the uh, 
Nursing Home Administration State Board of Examiners and uh, Rundy and Senator from District 36. Um, thank you very much. I'm the Senator from District 37 who's standing in for the Senator from District 36, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Glad to have you. I am honored to present Mr. Earl R. Runday as a member of the State Board of Examiners of Nursing Home Administrators. He comes very well qualified. He's well known in the Chestertown area. And I will introduce Mr. Runday, and he can fill in any other questions that you may have. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Runday. Yes, uh, I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not. I'm honored to be nominated uh, for this board by the governor, and I appreciate your consideration today. And happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, I would imagine what's going on. You're getting a lot of questions on your committee. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, do any of the committee members have any questions for Mr. Runde? Uh, Flashing across and back, I do not see any. So thank you much for very much for being here. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, we'll move to the Open Meetings Law Compliance Board. Uh, and the first one up is uh, uh, Jacob uh, Altshuler and District uh, Center from District 41. Uh, apparently uh, not here today, so. Uh, Is my, no, I'm here. Oh, okay, very good. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased and proud to sponsor uh, Jacob A. Altshuler. Mr. Altshuler has been a member of the Open Meetings Law Compliance Board. He's contributed greatly to increasing the public's faith in government, ensuring the accountability of government, and enhancing the public's ability to participate effectively in our democracy. His academic and professional background is best illustrated through his participation in the LI, Baltimore Young Leaders 2019 Partnership Forum. This experience is further elevated by his public spirited work, which such local nonprofits as the Homeless Persons Representation Project, University of Maryland Francis Scott Carey School of Law, Low Income Taxpayer Clinic, and the Maryland Volunteer Lawyer Service Low Income Taxpayer Clinic. His approach to civil service will continue to serve and advance the work of the Open Meetings Law Compliance Board and the Maryland Attorney General. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank uh, you, Senator Carter. Uh, this is Jacob Altscher speaking. Uh, I appreciate that and I'm honored to have been nominated by the governor uh, I've been working with the board for the last several months. I believe it's important work and I'm honored to be doing it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions or comments for uh, Mr. Altshuler? Altshuler. Uh, again, I see none. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you, Senator. Mm -hmm. um, next up is Lynn Marshall. And District 9, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Madam Vice Chair, and members of the Executive Nominations Committee. Uh, today, I'm happy to be here to introduce Ms. Lynn Marshall, lifelong resident of Maryland and a 31-year resident of Howard County. Uh, she's been providing legal counsel and practicing law since she obtained her law degree from the University of Baltimore and was admitted to the Maryland Bar in 1997. She currently serves as Associate Chief Counsel to the US FDA where she received the FDA Commissioner's Award of Excellence in 2018. Ms. Marshall has also served as Assistant General Counsel to the U.S. Department of Justice, Assistant State's Attorney for Howard County, Maryland, and in private law practice. When I spoke to Ms. Marshall this morning, I learned that her whole family really, including her husband and her three sons, have all dedicated their lives to public service. She noted that serving on the Open Meetings Law Compliance Board, especially during a pandemic, was a significant amount of work and I know she will do it well. Thank you so much for your commitment to service, Ms. Marshall. Uh, thanks for being here tonight. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Marshall? 
thank you so much, Senator and Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, it is an honor to appear before you today. And as I told um, Senator Hester this uh, earlier today, I am uh, very happy to, to serve the public as uh, chair of the Open Meetings Compliance Board. As my colleague uh, on the board, uh, Jacob, just stated, it's important work and uh, we're happy to do it. And I appreciate your consideration of my nomination. Okay, thank you. Uh, questions or comments? Uh, again, I am not seeing any, so thank you very much for being here. Thank you, sir. Okay, we'll move on to the State Board of Examiners in Optometry, and we have Ron Pepper, and Senator from District 11. Yes, hello. <laughs> Hi, thank you, um, Senator, uh, Mr. Chairman, and Madam Vice Chair and members of the committee. Um, this, I'm Shelley Hedelman, Senator from District 11, and I'm happy to present Rona Pepper, I'm a constituent from District 11, uh, for appointment to the uh, as a member of the State Board of Examiners of, in Optometry. Um, she has been uh, reappointed for a four-year term. She is the owner and manager of a court reporting company in. Uh, metropolitan uh, New York City before settling in Maryland, where she is now taught, has taught at what was then Villa Julie College and what is now Stevenson University. She retired as an administrator for a private school in Baltimore County and has served in a number of different um, community organizations, including her synagogue, homeowners association, and um, an independent school. Um, she is the consumer member um, where she has the opportunity to review protocols and news events and offers her opinion as a, from a consumer perspective. So I'm happy to present Rona Pepper. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, and I thank the governor. I thank the nominating committee for your time. And thank you, Senator Hel uh, Hedelman. Um, yes, I have been on the board and I've enjoyed being on the board. I've been on for a while and I'm very comfortable there. And I feel like they do terrific work. And um, basically, <laughs> Senator Hedelman said everything I was going to say. If you have any questions, I'm perfectly willing to answer them. OK. Are there any questions or comments? Uh, again, I see none. So thank you very much for being here today. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. All right, we will move on to the uh, State Real Estate uh, Commission. And first up is Michael Lord and Senator from District 30. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. For the record, uh, Sarah Elfrith representing District 30. Uh, Mr. Lord has spent his entire life uh, in service. He served our nation for 22 years in the Navy, um, which is very good for this, uh, this particular district. He served our state as the executive director of the State Ethics Commission and with work in the Tort Claims Unit of the Attorney General's Office. And he served Anne Arundel County um, in eight, uh, with eight years uh, in a, the County Office of Law. Um, and because of this lifetime of service, he's a valued member of our community and I highly recommend him, recommend Mr. Lord to serve on the State Real Estate Commission. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Lord. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Madam Chair, and members of the committee. I'm, I'm honored to appear here before you for your consideration of my appointment to this committee. And I appreciate the kind words of introduction of Senator Elford. Uh, and it's really nice to be back before the uh, General Assembly uh, following regular appearances here for the past eight and a half years. Uh, I'm grateful to the governor for appointing me to the Real Estate Commission. And uh, I've really enjoyed every moment of my service at the State Ethics Commission. So. I'm happy to get an opportunity possibly to serve again. Uh, so I hope to receive your approval and uh, uh, ultimately the Senate's to continue in service to the state. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have for me. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lord. And um, I see no hands, so I guess there are no questions. So I thank you very much for being here today. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. We will now move on to the uh, real estate uh, commission. And it's, I mean, excuse me, we're moving on to the tourism development board. And we have three people and that are, they're the last three for the day. And 
See if I get this right, Heather Brown, um, Senator from District 7. Mr. Chair, I think Senator uh, Washington was waiting to introduce the last one, uh, the last member of the Real Estate Commission. Oh, I'm sorry. I did skip over Michelle Wilson. Uh, yes, District 43, Senator. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, thank you so much. And members of the committee, and thank you, um, um, Senator Hayes uh, there. Uh, I'm honored uh, to recommend my constituent, uh, Michelle K. Wilson, Esquire, to sit on the State Real Estate Commission as a consumer member. Uh, Ms. Wilson currently is an attorney advisor with the District of Columbia's Department of Corrections. Uh, in addition, Ms. Wilson has over 15 years of leadership experience throughout the Baltimore region. Uh, she's done a variety uh, of service on organizations that are both public, private, and nonprofit. Ms. Wilson uh, possesses the necessary experience and skills to be an asset, as well as a leader on the State Real Estate Commission. So again, I highly recommend her as a consumer member, and I hope that you all agree. And uh, I believe Ms. Hey, Wilson. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Wilson, sorry for skipping you there. Uh, are you there? I am here. Thank you so much. I, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Very well. Thank you so much. I just thank you, Senator Washington. And thank you, Senator Hayes, for uh, <laughs> remembering me. And I appreciate yeah. that. I, I do thank the governor for the appointment to the commission. I am, um, I've been uh, nominated to serve as a consumer member. I do appreciate that and have enjoyed my time on the commission uh, serving in that capacity. I look forward to continuing my role and uh, we'll take any questions if there are any. Okay, I'm checking quickly. I do not see any. So if not, sorry, I skipped you again and thank you very much for being here. <laughs> no problem, it's a, something to remember. Have a great evening. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Okay, I guess I wanted to get, wanted to, get to some tourism. So uh, let's go to, and I'm not sure if I pronounced this right, uh, Heather Brow or Brayu, uh, and it's from District 7. District 7, not here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on. I'm sorry. I was waiting oh. for Senator. It's not. I guess uh, Senator's not here, so uh, you can say a little okay. about yourself. And, and uh, yeah. so, uh, good evening, Chairman Young, Vice Chairman Vital, and members of the committee. Um, it's my honor to serve the people of Maryland as a member of the Maryland Tourism Development Board, and I certainly would like to thank Governor Hogan for this nomination. I am currently the Director of Marketing and Public Relations at the Royal Farms Arena, of course, formerly Baltimore Arena held that position since 1998. Um, so complete advocate for the great state of Maryland, um, actually was an, an intern in college at the then Department of Tourism um, in Maryland. So um, I'm extremely excited and thrilled to be nominated and would happily take any questions at this time. Okay. Are there uh, any questions? or comments and I see none. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, um, Juan Carlos Linares, uh, Senator from District 9. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce Juan Carlos Linares who has been nominated for the Maryland Tourism Development Board. And this is actually a board that I also serve on. So I'm looking forward to working with him and the other nominees. Um, Mr. Linares is a District 9 resident and has an accomplished and innovative marketing and management professional with more than 17 years of experience. He currently serves as a board member to Prince George's County, Maryland, where he develops training programs in the tourism industry. He's also a board member and treasurer of the National Harbor Convention and Visitors Association and Senior General Manager of the Tanger Outlets at the National Harbor. In addition to his excellent res resume, as a native of Puerto Rico, I know his experience will add additional diversity to the board. He lives in Ellicott City with his three young children, and I'm honored to support him and look forward to working with him on the board. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Linares, are you there? 
Yes, I am. Uh, it's a pleasure to see everybody. And, and thank you so much, Senator Hester, for the, the wonderful introduction. Uh, thank you to Governor Hogan, uh, you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, members of the committee. I'm really looking forward to helping Maryland uh, regain its footing in the tourism industry. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and I'm, I'm excited to get started. Uh, so thanks again for the opportunity. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Are there any questions? And seeing none, uh, well, thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. Okay. And Albert Spence and Senator from District 11. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Madam Vice Chair, and members of the committee. Um, I am happy to present Al Spence um, to become a member of the um, Maryland Tourism Development Board. He actually, this must be a re-up because he was appointed in um, 2018. He's raised in Baltimore City and attended Morgan State College at the time. He's the president of AS Midway Tours, a Baltimore City motor coach and limousine company that received national safety recognition. And in the community, he has, is serving his third term as president of the Maryland Motor Coach Association. And he is the past member of the Baltimore County Board of Tourism. And um, I'm happy to present my constituent, Mr. Al Spence. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spence. Yes, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Governor Hogan, uh, Senator Hedelman for that introduction. Uh, you, Mr. Chairman and committee members, I'm thankful for the opportunity to serve on this board and I appreciate the opportunity and look forward to it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions or comments? Uh, I see none, so thank you. Thank you very much for being here, Mr. Spence. And um, with that, it's the last uh, item on the agenda. Um, this went fairly smoothly for everybody being ready quickly, and staff did a great job there uh, in getting everybody. So um, we're going to have to hold for a minute or two till they're ready, but uh, we will stay right where we are and uh, be ready to vote on the appointees uh, as soon as staff gives okay. us. Okay, I'm, start I'm stopping.